What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael and I hope you are having an awesome day. If you're new to this channel and you have yet to subscribe, be sure to subscribe, stay tuned. There's a lot more awesome content coming your way. You guys keep on recommending awesome, amazing songs and we continue a bunch of different series. That being said, we got Sabaton Ghost Division, the music video. Now, before this video, I wanted to you know read some articles that I pulled up real quick due to the historical nature of the band. I think that's really cool that a heavy metal band is doing historically referenced you know, aspects of history and making songs out of it. So, the uh, this is in reference to Ghost Division. The 7th Panzer Division was an armored formation of the German Army in World War II. It participated in the Battle of France, the invasion of the Soviet Union, the occupation of Vichy, France, and on the Eastern Front until the end of the war. The 7th Panzer Division is sometimes known by its nickname, Ghost Division. Now let's just go to a little bit of history. The division met with great success in France in 1940, then again in the Soviet Union in 1941. In May 1942, the division was withdrawn from the Soviet Union and sent back to France to replace losses and refit. It returned to southern Russia following the defeat at Stalingrad and helped to check a general collapse of the front in a series of defensive battles as part of Army Group Dawn and participated in General Erich von Manstein's counterattack at Karkova, or Karkov. The division fought in the unsuccessful offensive at Kursk in the summer of 1943, suffering heavy losses of men and equipment and was further degraded in the subsequent, subsequent Soviet counteroffensive. Do you guys remember popcorn reading back in the day? Yeah, challenging times. Through 1944 and 1945, the division was markedly under strength and continuously engaged in a series of defensive battles across the Eastern Front. It was twice evacuated by sea, leaving what was left of its heavy equipment behind each time. After fighting defensively across Prussia and northern Germany, the surviving men escaped into the force and surrendered to the British Army following northwest of Berlin in May 1941. So basically, what they're talking about right off the bat, and we're going to see in this video, you know, I'm just forecasting that. Is that this division never gave up they kept on coming back coming back and they basically had nothing left so drop away let's go I mean, you just gotta approach a video like this. Is we're, we're they're singing about the Seventh Panzer Division, the Ghost Division, and we're seeing all these different clips from maybe just the Seventh Panzer Division or maybe a collection. But regardless, just to see like this footage in this video, I think that's so cool. <laughs>
You know, it's crazy seeing this footage because we, you know, this happened, what, 1940, so 70 years ago. I think they just celebrated, like, the 75th, you know, anniversary or whatever. But, I mean, the sheer amount of people involved in this conflict is nuts. Like, seeing some of these divisions, the only other time you see these is, like, military parades when they're broadcasted. And, you know, you go on little clips from YouTube and to see it in person actually in a militaristic mindset, like in a warmongering mindset and ready to go to war, is just crazy. <laughs> and the fact that somebody has made an awesome heavy metal song over this. So I think the question right off the bat is Sabaton, you know, heavy metal band, they're doing historically based stories and events that did happen and they're putting it in song form to kind of, you know, reference back, portray, honor, whatever that may be. That's my question is why are they making historically relevant music videos? Are they trying to honor? Are they trying to discuss history? Are they just basically in a sense like historians who want to connect with people about with history by using heavy metal as another form is it educational in nature what is their main goal with this style of music that is a question i'm posing to you guys if you guys could answer that for me that would be really really awesome if you reach this point in the video be sure to subscribe stay tuned for more and as always for me stay healthy stay happy and have a blessed day